It's no secret that the relationship between the U.S. and Iran is on rocky ground. Iranian-backed Houthi rebels continue to launch attacks on ships in the Red Sea. Other militant groups allied with Iran step up attacks on American forces in Iraq and Syria. A new report says the U.S. put aside those differences when it secretly warned Iran before a deadly terrorist attack earlier this month. This video captured the moments immediately after two bombs went off at a memorial in Kerman, Iran, for Qassam Soleimani, the Iranian general killed in a U.S. strike four years ago. The bombing killed 84 people, wounding an additional 284. Initially, Iran blamed Israel for the attack, with Iranian officials promising revenge against anyone behind the attack. We will not be silent until justice is served. We have various capacities to deal with terrorist groups, and naturally we will use all of them, such as intelligence and security capacities and other tools that we have for the administration of justice. A day after the attack, an Islamic State affiliate, ISIS-K, claimed responsibility for the bombings. Now, according to the Wall Street Journal, U.S. officials privately warned Iran of a terror threat ahead of the deadly bombings. An official reportedly saying the U.S. government followed a longstanding duty to warn policy. Prior to ISIS terrorist attack on January 3, 2024 in Kerman, Iran, the U.S. government provided Iran with a private warning that there was a terrorist threat within Iranian borders. According to documents foiled by Columbia University, the duty to warn policy requires anyone in the intelligence community who, quote, collects or acquires credible and specific information indicating an impending threat directed at a person or group has a duty to warn the intended victim or those responsible for protecting the intended victim. The journal said intel about the impending terror attack was timely enough to help Iran potentially stop the January 3rd bombings. Some experts say that the secret warning from the U.S. may have been an olive branch to spark meaningful dialogue to build trust with Iran.